Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and guys, as always, a huge thank you goes out to every single one of you that continually supports my channel, whether you're new or an existing subscriber. Thank you guys so very much. I really, really, truly appreciate you all. Today's video is my bathroom tour. It's not 100% done. There's a couple things I still want to do, but I was just really excited to show you guys how I fused two aesthetics. I did a minimalist and glam. So my bathroom is minimalistic glam decor. I wanted the bathroom to feel nice and fresh and light and feel a little different than the other areas of my home, but I needed to stay true to my glam aesthetic. And I really feel like I it's did not 100% done. I'm debating on if I want to change out the light fixture I still need to do the shelving in the unit that I built and I am still debating on what decor I want to use in two parts of my bathroom, actually three sections and you guys will hear me talk about that in the video. If you haven't seen my glam bathroom tour, I'm going to link that in the description along with any links to any of the items that I have if I can find the links. Some of the stuff like, you know, when you get things from HomeSense and stuff like that. There are no links. You literally just have to go to your local home goods store and hope it's there. Uh, but I'll link what I can. Please, guys, I don't want to ramble anymore because I'm really excited about this. Like, I'm super happy. It's very unexpected for me to decorate my, my personal space this way. But um, I love it. And it's very refreshing. So without further ado, here is my bathroom tour. I start behind the door. Nothing really changed. I've had these glam hooks for about three or four years, I think it is. I got them from Home Depot, but I don't remember how much they were. I'm not even sure if they still have them. They, they probably do for all I know, but um, I'm, I'm not 100% certain. Uh, they're actually really pretty. I don't think I'm going to be changing these anytime soon. And then over here, guys, I just love this section. I think it's so beautiful. I wanted my bathroom to be kind of minimal, but still glam. And so I think I really achieved the minimal look over here. Um, but keeping it true to my glam aesthetic. So we have these two faces. Yes, I know I'm going to take the tag off. I left it so I could remember the price. Um, these are from HomeSense, $16.99 each. In the first jar here, or not jar, pump, I have mouthwash and then I just have a crystal shot glass that we use for the mouthwash. The green is Shiloh's toothpaste and the gray or blackish gray is my toothpaste. I use the charcoal Colgate toothpaste. And then on this shelf we have the first pump is Shiloh's Neutrogena face wash. The second pump is my Neutrogena grapefruit face wash. Then we have baby lotion and then we have baby oil, but the gel form. And I love the way this looks. It is so satisfying to look at. These pump bottles I got from Ikea, I believe they were under a dollar or they were a dollar. It wasn't very expensive. And I picked up eight of them. I wish I had picked up more, but um, I probably will if I go back and, eat, you know, but I just wish I picked up more. My light is the same one I had from before. I got it from Home Depot. I don't remember the price, but I'm going to look it up and I will input it in the description box so you guys can get the link and see the price of that. The mirror, I don't know if this looks familiar to some of you, but this was the top of my coffee table uh, that I had made. My coffee table in the living room was a DIY and this is a top part of that DIY. I wanted to bring in a lot of light in the bathroom so I opted to put it in here. It filled up the space wonderfully and I just love it so much. I kept my uh, glam towel rack and I just have white towels. I want to get bigger fluffier ones so once I get those I will change that so that it just looks a little bit more luxury but for now these these will do. Here I have the coconut um, soap with aloe. This was from Home Sense. Yeah, from Home Sense. And then over here I just have a water bottle that literally says water on it. And that is from Kitchen Stuff Plus. And I just keep fresh water in it. The countertop is a DIY that I did. 
and the contact paper is from Amazon. I will link, like I said, anything that has links, I'll link it all in the description box. So just remember to check that out. If there's no links to anything, it means that there's none there. The rim part around the sink, I need to change that. I just haven't gotten around to it. And I'm just super excited to show you guys where I am with the bathroom. I'm not completely finished, but I'm about 80% done. So when I, if I do make any big changes, I'll do a bathroom update. The handles, they are from... Let me come down so you can see better. The handles are from Home Depot. And I got all matching handles. They are the loose side or acrylic handles. I really, really, really love them. I think they look so classy. And then we come over here, my medicine cabinet. This cabinet is from Home Depot. I got it a couple years ago. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. Um, I'll look and see if I see it and link it, but I really don't. I, I know it was under 200 though. And um, I really do love it. It's such a great little cabinet with so much space. I got matching handles for this one as well. They're a little bit of a different shape, but still the same family as the handles that's on my sink, um, under the sink counter and my storage unit that I made. If you're a subscriber from the dawn of time <laughs> and you've watched all my videos, you probably would have watched my glam bathroom. And over here is where I had all of like my sparkly glam stuff. So in case you're wondering, this glam girl did not get rid of any of those items. So what I did was I purged my makeup and guys, how satisfying all is this? My glam stuff is in this covered guys it's so satisfying when you open it and you see everything just shining and looking so beautiful um these lucite jars or containers they're from home sense they were like 6.99 each they come with lids but i didn't need the lid for in here and they're stackable so i just keep like some of my nail the the nail things that i use the most i keep in those the rest i've packed away and then these two containers here I just keep all of my brushes in one like my mascara and my eyebrow pencil things like that in the other one and on top I keep all of my lipsticks my concealer my eyeshadows that are my faves and lip glosses in this one and over here I just keep all of my compacts and I have a lot of them because I experienced different shades of being black and um, you know based on the season I either have to go lighter or darker so I just have all of my powders up there and that's what's inside here. So I kept my glam stuff because I am a glam girl and I was not getting rid of that. Down here, I just keep cotton balls, the floss, Shiloh like lives for floss. And then I just have some pads for cleaning your makeup or just your skin in general. These jars came from Dollarama. They were $2 each and I thought that they fit here really, really nice. Uh, I have quite a bit of <laughs> toothpicks, like I said, Shiloh devours them. So that's what's over here. Then I have my shower curtain. This is actually a shower liner. I wanted something that was just a little bit light in here. And um, it worked perfectly fine for the space. And the floor doesn't get wet. So I'm quite content with that. I think I paid like $15, between $12 to $15 from HomeSense. Uh, there's no real big style. I mean, there's like a little print on it, which is cute, but nothing too fancy. Again, I wanted it to feel a little bit more minimal and light. Now, these curtain hooks, I love them. There is two sides to it. So the liner goes on the inside, and then the outside part here is where you put your traditional shower curtain. So I am going to be putting a shower curtain there, but not right now. Like I wanted the bathroom to feel super light here because on the floor you guys can't see just how cute this little bin is i got it from home sense it says toss it is ceramic and i paid 34.99 for it super super cute it just sits down here these white rugs i got from home sense and it was two if you guys haven't seen my video on this beast of a unit this is a DIY. I will link it in the description bar so that you guys can check it out. I did make this from scratch and I'm super proud. Uh, we do have the matching handles like 
with everything else and let's have a look inside of it. I'm not going to go into like depth because I already went into depth with this in my other video, but I'll just kind of scan through it. Medica this is Gem Gem's Paw Protection. We've got all medicated stuff there, vitamins and prescription, non-prescription, whatever. Uh, down here is like first aid things. And then on this shelf, it's just like hair ties, weave glue, hair, like bobby pins and more floss because Shallow lives for floss. Uh, down here is where we keep an overage of deodorant, perfume, body wash, face stuff. This is Shiloh's little section over here and my perfumes and stuff. This is actually the Neutrogena uh, face um, cleansing pads for men. But I put it here because last time Shallow used his and it was like literally down to just one pad. And if I didn't pick it up and look at it, he wouldn't have had anything. And I'm like, no, I need to know. So now I can see it. And when it's going down, I can replenish that no problem. This container was from Dollarama. It came in a pack of three for, I think it was $2 for the pack of three. Then down here, I've got lotion, cornstarch, um, my mask, some more lotion, hair product. They gave this toothpaste when we went to the dentist and um, some soap, some Dettol soap, iris spring and coast and then file. And then on the very bottom down here is where I would keep toilet paper and paper towel. So that's pretty much what's in this cupboard. I'll give you a quick look at it again. I'm like squished in the corner. The bathroom is super small. It's very difficult to get everything in. But yeah, the door works great. No issues. I got this toilet seat from Amazon. It's between $60 or $70. I'll link it in the description box. But guys, it is wonderful. It's well worth it. I know it sounds expensive, but it's well worth it. And I highly recommend this toilet seat. Like, I'm obsessed with it. So the bathroom is not completely done. I still want to do something back here. I'm not too sure, but I want to have a moment on top of the toilet and I want to have a moment up here as well without it looking completely cluttered. But here's just a quick overview of everything so far. Guys, when editing this, I realized I didn't mention where the Claire shells were from. I got them from Ikea. Guys, for now, this is what the unit looks like, but I am going to be making some changes. As mentioned in my previous video, my DIY for this bathroom unit, I am going to be replacing all of the shelves, but I am also going to be getting all storage containers so that everything inside of it looks really uniformed and neat and tidy. And I'm super excited to show you guys the outcome of that when it's completed.